Kacamacama! Hey guys, Jay Agone po, Keepsakes. It's been a while since I did my usual vlog. So far, we're doing well naman sa aming home office uh, or what you want to call it. And we're working and doing things, doing stuff, living at the same time. So as for me, uh, before we go to our main segment, ano, I'd like to show some clips of my travels from Grab to even just walking. And nakikita nyo naman na parang walang nagbago. It's just that nagmahal ang transportation, hindi payag ang... IATF to have the jeeps get get back again on the road at makikita nyo naman na everybody's wearing a mask it's required because we're still in quarantine and tong quarantine na to perhaps if we come, come to think about it o nga napakahaba nitong quarantine na to kasi hanggang ngayon hindi pa rin tapos eh. this started last March 15-16 and now it's already june july as we record this video so hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na hindi nagbago ang mundo you, you, you just can't you just can't kasi there's less interactions hindi kayo pwedeng magdikit-dikit and yun nga yung parang the effect of uh, applying the quarantine but Again, we have to apply that quarantine in order to live. This, the, this is not the first time that we've experienced an epidemic in the country. Of course, there's the SARS epidemic and then the Spanish flu. Uh, mga 1912 yun. So, we will survive this. Kasi if we didn't survive the first epidemic, our first epidemic, malamang hindi tayo... Mama magpapatuloy sa ganito. So yeah, uh, we just go along with it. And even uh, with the rising cases, patas ang patas ang mga kaso ng COVID-19 sa Pilipinas ano. At least hindi siya yung kasing taas ng pag uh, sprout ng mga kaso sa other countries in the western hemisphere. Something na hindi ko dapat ikagulat pero nagugulat pa rin ako kasi makikita nyo naman yung reaction ng mga tao there of course the conservative eastern hemisphere na pinalaki tayo mga masunurin stereotypically speaking and then yung western hemisphere na pinalaki na young wild and free na they have their own rights they have their own self expression nabibigyan sila ng bosses you can see the effect right now and uh, I'm I'm leaving it to you to check to determine the whole thing. So now let's move on to our recap. I've gone less on VTubers for work and online events. And yes, online events meaning I am able to talk to people not just within the Philippines but outside of the country. Speaking of cons, um, we rarely. Uh, in, my, in my neck of the woods, we rarely go to overseas cons, but if there's a chance, uh, some of us go. So lucky you to those who are in New Jersey who can just jump into NYC for the anime uh, for anime NYC and the Massachusetts and all that. Lucky, lucky you. You can, you can just go ride the car. I had to ride a plane. More so in the Western Hemisphere, there's this event called Isekai Con in which they had their own set of Zoom calls. Na yeah, it's pretty interesting to hear the stories of cosplayers from the West talking about their experiences and I'm really happy to participate in it. Congratulations to Isekai Con for doing such a great Zoom session. Prior to that, uh, a week ago, I went on to check Fujocon, uh, the BL club of the Dallas-Fort Worth. Yeah, Tayon? Yeah. They're the organizers. It's or uh, it's or being organized. It's or uh, that was successfully organized, and you can see the level of uh, discourse there. No, of course there's panels, and yes, some uh, I can see that some of the attendees are from the Philippines. Prior to that, there's also the big four events. Na talagang nangaraga ko doon. Uh, it's the Aniplex Online Fest, the Funimation Con, 
the Anime Expo Light and Kurokon, Kurotsuki Online Convention. Uh, I've talked about this in a uh, brief on the blog. Um, you might want to check that out as well. Pero here are the clips of the experiences that I had uh, uh, during these events. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm very happy to experience such kinds of events. And I'm very happy that I can determine our time slot because most of the events are set at eastern time eastern time in the western hemisphere which means if it's 12 in the midnight here in manila it's already 12 noon in their area so isang araw ano, 12 hours ang pagitan and so i know when to stay awake and when to sleep <laughs> which is sometimes hindi nangyayari because you still have things to do of course there's the, the routine uh, work and so on and so forth but then again i enjoyed the experience and i'm happy that i'm able to see recaps of some of the panels uh for example korokon had uh, some some korokon panels have been saved recorded on youtube and i'm happy to uh i'm happy to watch it firsthand no? and of course hindi mawawala yung anikura in which of course there's the tiger cam well, Kurokon only had their Tiger Cam. Uh, meanwhile, Anime Expo Lite had their Lisani Live, and then uh, Aniplex had DJ Kazu, as well as the Funimation Con. Funimation Con is more an industry, kaya natutuwa ako sa kanila because uh, kahit na sabi mo kailangan mong gumamit ng VPN to access the con, eh makikita mo naman na uh, there's a reason why. Funimation has the biggest network of distribution all around the world all around the world because it's under Sony and in it are joint ventures such as Manga Entertainment in uh, the, the UK and Ireland and uh, Madman the Madman Anime Group in Australia as well as the main Funimation uh, in the US and Canada and also they've opened their doors to Latin America and uh, yeah don't forget Wakanim from France so that's the distribution umbrella of Aniplex Sony Sony yeah, and at the Funimation Con dun lang, dun nila na ilabas yung kanilang prowess on how they distribute stuff, how they talk about stuff, how they talk about industry. If you're into the industry, you should, you could have watched Funimation Con. If you're into the fandom side of things, mga anikura, mga for, for fans, by fans, that Kuro, Kuro is there. So, yeah, if you want a well balanced discussion, you can either go for uh, the Anime Expo Lite and if you want more on the Seiyu stuff Aniplex Online Fest had a lot of it Yuichi Nakamura, Spear and uh, Sabri Hayami yeah so they had a lot they had a lot um, that's the big four events that happened last weekend of, of course there's also times that I tried to attend uh, some online events like Oki, Sorakon, and uh, other cons as well. Uh, you can check out the calendar on my blog. Uh, it's already there. It's under 2020 online events. Pero, ang buod ng, ng discussion na to is simply put, yung mga online events na to, it, it will stay until a vaccine is distributed in all parts of the world and uh, once na magkaroon ng solid concrete na vaccine kasi COVID-19 hindi natin maintindihan kung ano ba iyang sakit na iyan and we are asked forced to stay home and wear a mask physically distance ourselves from each other so while we are waiting for a vaccine we have to do that and dami na nangyari of course, there's this tension between your mental health and all that. I'm not that well-versed, to be quite honest, pagdating sa mga, pag, pagdating sa, pag sa mga ganyan mga matters. But at, at least I, I've raised a point na this is taking a toll on our sanity. All of this. But it's either we live or we pass away. 
we chose to live and we chose to follow the rules. Okay, so I tried to do another VTuber recap, pero puro holo live lang yung mga balita ngayon eh. There's, there's a lot of 3D debuts, especially sa 4th generation. 4th generation, ang natitira na lang for debut ng 3D model is si Toa. Tapos, nagluluto pa rin si Hachama ng sunog na uh, pagkain. At uh, yung Facebook page admin ng Hololive, parang ewan. Eh, at least may interaction na dun sa Facebook page ng Hololive. And Hololive is uh, taking note of Facebook audience. Mga memers tayo dyan, mga memers. Uh, also, if you can see at the back, uh, I'm going to skip watch or skim watch rather, no? Yung stream ni, ni Archa on Twitch, Hololive China. Uh, pero she's back on Twitch. You know, Archa has gotten cuter when she was made into a meme. This month on the podcast. It doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop in, in just finishing your your course, your your college, your 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 board exam, whatever. It doesn't stop there. And I have to say na yung totoong success talaga is right after college and right after doing this this stuff na, nasa school. I would just like to encourage everyone to try out new things. This is the perfect time to try out anything that you haven't. If you wanted to try drawing, a lot of my friends are actually delving into the arts right now since they never had the opportunity. If you wanted to try dancing, if you want to continue your exercise since you stop for the rest of the year. <laughs> for the year go ahead that this this is the perfect time just keep yourself busy do the things that you love because it's it's the best that we can do right now in the current situation that we're so that's what's coming up on the podcast with yours truly jayagonoy subscribe to youtube.com slash jayagonoy and anchor.fm slash keepsakes to get more of the podcast